You know, it's time that we get mandatory labeling. It's time we cut down the biotech bullies to size. And then now, let's have that discussion again about chemical agriculture versus organic or traditional agriculture. The overwhelming majority of the public want us to produce food and to raise animals in the natural, healthy, humane way, uh, in a way that doesn't destroy the environment, public health, and the climate. Uh, and we're going to get to that point, but it's going to require, uh, as I often put it, the food fight of our lives. Genetic engineering is a process where scientists take genes from one species and force it into the DNA of other species. Every single independent study conducted on the impact of genetically modified food shows that it damages organs, it causes infertility, it causes immune system failure, it causes holes in the GI tract, it causes multiple organ system failure. The whole concept of genetically modified organisms is throwing a monkey wrench in the life on this planet. What if we could produce more yield on the same amount of land, squeeze more water from a single raindrop, conserve natural resources while caring for the environment? Monsanto is the company that told us that PCBs were safe. They told us that Agent Orange was safe. They told us that DDT was safe. And now they're in charge of telling us if their own genetically modified foods are safe. The reason why we have 170 million acres of genetically engineered corn and soybeans and cotton and canola oil and sugar beets in the United States is because it doesn't have to be labeled. The first genetically modified animal, a salmon, may soon be approved for human consumption. Both these fish are 18 months old, but the larger genetically engineered Aqua Advantage salmon grows twice as fast as the regular salmon. There has not been sufficient animal health testing, human health testing, or environmental impact testing of these new transgenic fish. Basically, they've taken agriculture and built an industrial model which doesn't fit nature. So instead of changing their agricultural model to accommodate what is natural, they're changing nature to accommodate the industrial model. If you have an organic corn crop that sits next to a genetically engineered corn field, and it happens to tassel at the same time, and it happens to be downwind, you're gonna get your crop contaminated. The rest of the food supply is contaminated. Then the genie is out of the bottle, and it's maybe physically impossible to turn the situation around. In the genetic engineering revolution, these seeds are now patented property of one corporation called Monsanto. The pharmaceutical industry has no interest in having you well because they don't make any money if you're well. And the pharmaceutical industry is the biotech industry. Some people think that GMO really means God move over. We are heading downhill at a rapid rate of speed toward our own extinction. The use of GM in agriculture is a risk that is simply not worth taking.